Hey, gorgeous goddesses. I've been so excited to get on here. And actually, it's the 1111. It's an 1111 time portal right now. And I want to come in because, um, yeah, like as you might have seen that I'm launching, um, you know, a new free program and it's going to be a series of four master classes and it will start tomorrow. And I'm so excited about it. And so I want to talk a little bit about the topic of leadership in here because leadership really is what we feel is, um, you know, it's what really creates that <clears throat> specific outlet where we actually create our dreams. And, you know, leadership is not only, you know, that you determine yourself and that you, um, how do I say it, that you label yourself as a leader. Like leadership, when we really step into leadership, it actually means that we are willing to step onto a ground where we are co-creators with the universe, where we no longer um, <clears throat> like endure this um, codependent dynamic with the universe, where we actually step on the same you know pedestal. I would like actually, I'm gonna reign this you know empire together with you my lover king or lover emperor uh, emperor and so i'm going to be talking a lot more about you know leadership and what it means to um you know really step into our leadership position when it comes to our manifestation process because if we don't really claim the seed of us being leaders of our own lives um we basically perpetuate this sensation that things keep happening to us and that keep, things keep happening out of our own control and so leadership also comes with you know the connotation of responsibility and so are we really willing to take responsibility like full ownership and full responsibility for the pieces that we really are willing to align together you know with the universe by doing our inner work by doing you know what it, what is required for us to really step into that empowered position within ourselves right where we no longer um you know hover around this um dimension that you know the manifestation game is somehow outside of ourselves and you know where we stop monitoring um you know or micromanaging the universe by um trying to control what is coming in and what is going out right and so it really is about um you know leaning into your uh, feminine essence and really activating the different channels of receptivity all the way to fully embodying your queen essence and i'm going to be talking a lot more about the queen essence because truly like it's not just the teachings that we have endured over these past i want to say decade dec decade because i feel like most of you have been in the spiritual scene for for about a decade um and i have been as well this is really when you know this whole spiritual journey began for me was back in 2010 was when I very first actually sat down and tried to experience what meditation actually is. And some of you might be, you know, doing this, you know, have, having been doing this for even longer than that. And that's fine, right? But sometimes we have, um, you know, fed into this relationship with the universe where we're like, okay, if I'm going to do this, then I'm going to be a good girl. If I'm going to do, you know, if I'm going to position myself in this and this way, I'm going to open myself up for more manifestation to come in. And we're still actually, you know, wiring into our manifestation with this masculine energy where we're trying to, you know, <laughs> pretend that we're not really leading the outcome, but we really are, right? Like we're trying to micromanage and like we're, you know, doing something small and then we're kind of like waiting, okay, is this good? Is this good? Is this good? Like, where's the manifestation? Like, where is it? Right. And we're looking for synchronicities and we're making things mean that actually don't mean it, mean it at all. And then when we actually see things come out in our external life, we're like, well, this is not really what I asked for. So either I did the manifestation game the wrong way or, you know, I haven't done it the right way. Um, or I haven't done the right pieces. I have to do more. I have to go out there more. I have to, you know, try more. I have to meditate more. I have to do all these things more because we're still, you know, expecting for the universe to deliver to us in, in a sense where, you know, we, we, we're not really fully responsible for that. So that's really, you know, I'm going to be talking a lot deeper in, into this topic, you know, leadership and what it really means. And then, of course, there's the whole spectrum of, you know, I know that a lot of women here in this group specifically or if you're watching this on my youtube channel now or if you're watching this you know on another platform where i've shared this video 
you might actually um, identify yourself as, you know, a spiritual leader in some way, right? Or you're mentoring women or you're mentoring children or you're a teacher or you're, um, you know, like thinking about creating your own programs, creating your own classes, creating your own retreats, creating your own events where people can come to you and actually receive your medicine. And it really is so important that we understand this, you know, leadership entanglement and that we really step up our game in that sense, you know, and not coming at it from a masculine perspective where we have to be more. It's more about, okay, so what is honestly actually working in my life and what isn't, right? And it's like taking full ownership, full responsibility, full um, connection with the things that have been occurring in our lives where we're like, okay, this has actually been working. This has been working in the right way. You know, how can I, you know, backtrack my own manifestation process? And I'm going to give you some tools on, you know, how to, um, how do I say it? It's almost like it's going to be like a map so that you can read how have I actually been attracting things into my life, right? So that you can start to really step into that empowered position where you're not only going to step into your own leadership in terms of your own internal and external life, but you're also going to step into a new sense of leadership with your own clients, with your own students, with your own um, followers, with the people who are coming into your world. And you'll be able to, to read, you know, what is a healthy, a healthy connection? What is a healthy relationship? You know, how can I hold my own, um, you know, sovereign position as a queen and goddess and priestess and alchemist and magician and lover and, um, you know, wise woman and wild woman essence in this life so that, you know, the people, like that my energy is so crystal clear and so attuned and so connected and plugged in that I don't need to, you know, dip down my energy and like leak my own life force energy in order to help another person step up to the platform because we've still been, you know, leading ourselves that way, right? Where we're constantly in that rat race of I have to keep doing this kind of work, I have to keep healing, I have to keep chasing, you know, the next program, the next thing, so that I can become a better person or a better uh, spiritual leader, right? And it's very often these things you already know, it's all about remembering as well. And so I'm going to lay this out in, in those classes as well, so that you can really feel into what it feels like to be, um, you know, a, a divine feminine essence empowered leader on this planet, because truly this is what we need, at, you know, in this moment. Like, if you really look around, like if I look around, um, you know, in society, the things that are going on, uh, politically speaking, economically speaking, like we're being asked to step up right? We're being asked to create something new. We're being asked to shape a new dimension and a new reality. And we're also being asked to do it in a way that it has, it has never been done before, right? And so it's like, this is now the time for the divine feminine, truly. It's for the divine feminine to come into her full essence. And there's nothing that she has to do. A lot of the things that have come for, you know, um, with, with this manifestation process and this co-creation process is this where, if we're really emitting a very crystal clear uh, frequency on this divine feminine spectrum, then things that the things that are coming to us are not just the things that we actually want they're not just the things that we can think of they actually go beyond our expectations right and there's this ease and this effortlessness that kicks in because we're really trusting that our radiance is what draws the things to us right and it's our radiance and our continuous um you know decision making on creating something that is sustainably long like sustainable long term and not just for the quick fix and the quick validation um, kick that we get from, oh, I've seen 1111 and, you know, this must mean blah, blah, blah. But it's like, okay, so let's zoom out and let's, you know, really, really go and create our life's masterpiece, right? Instead of just creating this next best thing that is going to sell or, you know, this next best um, um, lifestyle radical change that we will hold for a month and then it's never it's never really going to draw in the things because we're still coming at it with this masculine forced 
essence. And so when, we, when you know how to read your own energy this way, it basically transforms everything that you're creating. Because when you're really fully stepping into your own leadership position with that responsibility in mind and with that, um, you know, mindfulness that you're here for the long term, you're here to create a masterpiece and that, you know, time is on your side, money is on your side, your clients are on your side, your ideas are on your side, the universe is on your side, there's a much higher force at action. And if you can fully open and surrender to that, it's like you enter, it's like you enter a whole new timeline. And so yeah, if you're curious about this, if you um yeah, if you feel drawn to just like come in and receive this um these teachings, please, you know, sign up um in on the link below. We'll share it, you know, um as soon as we we I come off this call because I truly feel like there's a there's a way for us to create that leverage in our energy where, you know, we stop draining our energy. We stop giving away our power and our life force energy to, you know, these teachings that we have received that are actually, you know, sometimes they can be a little bit of um, a brainwash and, you know, they don't make sense. Like they will make sense in a conceptual space, but when it actually comes to it making sense inside your own physical body, there's like a mismatch, right? So, yeah, like if you're, um, yeah, curious to come in, I'd be so happy to have you. Um, I also have a very exciting, um, like shareable thing, um, that you will be receiving, like a picture that you'll be receiving. So you can, you know, invite other friends to come and join you. Um, this is going to be such an epic event. I'm so excited about this because I truly believe that we can finish 2020 on high and we can really set a new standard at the end of this year so that really next year we're going to be creating and co-creating with the universe on a whole new level. Um, and this is what's been happening for my clients as well. Like I've, this year I've uh, launched some new programs and like my clients have just been shooting through the roofs. They've been attracting, um, you know, different uh, job positions. They've been attracting uh, money like never before. They've been attracting super aligned clients. They've been uh, just aligning with healthy relationships through and through their whole lives, right? Like healthy relationships with men, healthy relationships with women, really healing and like deeply transforming. Um, yeah, this, this, energetic frequency exchange between themselves and whatever it is that they're creating, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a business, whether it's a client relationship, whether it's a friendship, whether it's community. I had a woman who is a, you know, full-time, like is a full-time traveler, yoga teacher, and she was able to draw in a community that she'd been so like craving for so long, right? For most people, like traveling the world is kind of like a big dream. But once you're actually traveling, very often what you know, what you notice is that there's something new coming through. And what is now coming through is that you're actually seeking community space and you're seeking, you know, a group of people who are physically surrounding you and who you can actually vibe with, right? And very often when we're on this route, Ways of I have to do, I have to do, I have to do. We don't even see that. So this woman wasn't even um, seeing that until we actually started working together. That what she really, you know, desired was deep friendship and deep connections on a physical level, not just with her clients. And what is amazing is that she then started to draw in all these super aligned clients, you know, who were like paying for her programs and like you know, signing up over and over, like signing up for multiple programs. And literally like that's what it creates, like this magnetic frequency of the divine feminine. It creates sustainability on all levels. It creates sustainability in your relationships, in your money game, in your manifestation story, in all the creations. Because you know that when you trust that your radiance is it and that, you know, you can really lean back and like heal that survival mechanism that keeps you chasing behind the next, you know, shiny object. Like it's, it's a syndrome, right? Like the shiny object syndrome, like constantly running, constantly trying to adapt yourself or change yourself or, you know, like play the chameleon so that you can be accepted more or like please more people. Like if you've been noticing going, like noticing that yourself, you're going into this, like I, I highly, highly, um, 
yeah, like invite you to come and, you know, participate in the, in the new moon extravaganza, because it really is going to be going very deep in this embodiment principle. And I will be sharing things that I normally only share in my programs. I'll be sharing them live with you. It's a free event. Um, there is no fees at it at the moment. I will probably repurposing, be repurposing and repackaging this program because Honestly, I feel like the value that I'm going to be dropping is going to be at least a 1 to 2K value um, because I truly, yeah, I just feel like these these are principles that I would normally only share in my programs, truly, because it requires this um, this container space, but I'm willing to share it with you here because, um, you know, I've seen these incredible results in my clients and I feel like this can actually benefit even more people and you know it's holding on to wisdom is one of these pieces like it's you can hold on to wisdom you can hold on to things that are really meaningful and you know share them in a very specific tailored container um, because there's value in that there's value in you know investing in yourself and in you know going deep with a coach or with, you know, somebody who's facilitating a transformational event. Um, but yeah, I'm basically just feeling drawn to opening that sacred space up during this new moon. It's the last super moon of 2020 that is going to occur. And also Venus and Mars at the moment are like the closest to our planet. So like the whole planet is basically relooking at relationships, at, you know, how to combine this potency between the divine feminine and the divine masculine, how to integrate these energies so that we can fully, you know, step into a new reality. Truly, it's, it's all about, you know, um, uh, all about, um, yeah, stepping into that leadership position where we see that our creation and our, um, yeah, emittance of frequency really is what draws in all the things. Um, I'm already receiving um, comments and like private messages about this. This is so exciting. And this is like, honestly, this is what tells me that it's in alignment. I know for, for a fact that there's women who will need this training right here, right now in this exact container. And of course, there will be an invitation for you to, you know, continue this journey and to dive deeper in uh, with me um, if that feels aligned and if it doesn't that's absolutely fine as well you're welcome to come you know as you are as you are with your desires with your um you know with the things that you're looking to create next with your next level in mind and in that vision and hopefully these teachings will help you to really draw in all the energy and land like let these visions land inside your physical body because when these things can't land in our physical body, it's like we're creating a blockage between ourselves and the universe. And it's like we're creating this wall of, I'm only going to do this if you, <laughs> right? We're, we're basically making this relationship that is naturally unconditional. We're making it conditional because we, yeah, we've conditioned ourselves through this brainwash of this is how you manifest this is how you do things this is how this is what you need to do and we don't let these things actually land and settle and connect in our physical bodies so if you're excited about this like i'd be so happy to have you there i'm so excited about this event i know that things will be coming through that i probably haven't even shared in any programs before because I've literally been on this huge transformational journey these past few weeks. It's been incredible. Um, and as you know, I've, you know, gone to Santorini, spent 10 days of like fully, like really steeping myself. Like this is one of the things that I will be talking more about, like how to create a holiday or how to create a retreat within your own, um, yeah, within your own life, right? And it doesn't have to be 10 days like what I did. Sometimes it's enough to just take one day out and you're really like, I'm going to be, yeah, I'll be talking more about this in the, in the master classes because it's all about the embodiment. It's all about like really creating sacred space within your own energy um, and within your own life. So join us, join us, join us, join us. I'd be so happy to have you there. Um, so the um, email automation is already all set up. So as soon as you sign up, 
you'll receive an email uh, within five or ten minutes um, and then inside you also have a little shareable um, Instagram story uh, picture so you can share that as well to say that you're in and that you're excited and I also have a prize draw oh my gosh I forgot about the prize draw I need to talk to you about the prize draw so there's a prize draw throughout um, the course I'll be you know explaining more about this on the first day when we when we actually um, uh, meet but yeah, it's just going to be insane. I can't wait um, to host this with you. It's going to be wonderful and magical. And yeah, I hope to see you there. So sending you so much love. Have a beautiful day wherever you are. Lady Zee Lizzie Butterfly coming to you live from Luxembourg. And I'm actually going to be um, hopefully hosting this in a very special place. And I will let you know where <laughs> because I'm actually travel traveling to a new country tonight. Um, and yeah, so you'll find out tomorrow. I'll send you so much love. And I'll see you on the new moon extravaganza yay